everywhere. Specific seven, seven wise men who came and settled Easter Island after this great cataclysm. Uh, so it's, it's, it's great to have indigenous testimony on that. And then you have the mystery of the Easter Island script. How did that happen? How come, how come this tiny island, which only ever had a population of a few thousand, did something that is normally only done by big civilizations, which was create a written script? But they have a script, the Easter Island script, and it's written on wooden boards. And we learned that these were the boards we see today, none of which, by the way, are in Easter Island now. They're all in museums around the world. They themselves were copies of copies of copies of earlier wooden boards that wore out. And these things go back far into the remote past as far as the indigenous people of Easter Island are concerned. Um, and... and uh, to have a fully formed, elaborate script, which nobody can interpret today, you have to remember the tragic history of Easter Island. There was a point where Easter Island's population was reduced to just 11 people. And it was reduced to 11 people by Peruvian slave raids. They came and slaved the people of Easter Island. And they took them to work in Peru and put them elsewhere in the, in, in the Pacific. Eventually, there was a movement to restore them to their homeland, and gradually people came back. But at one point, its population was reduced to 11. All the elders were wiped out, those who were the memory carriers. And so what's left now is just a hint of a memory of these things. Mm. But they, they speak with awe of these uh, tablets with the, with the script on it. And to me, that is a sign again that there's something wrong with our understanding left now is just a hint of a memory of these things mm. but they, they speak with awe of these uh, tablets with the, with the script on it and to me that is a sign again that there's something wrong with our understanding of Easter Island how can we how can we explain that this tiny little place produces its own written language why would it even need a written language when you can walk across the island in you know three hours it wouldn't need to communicate in that way and yet it had its own script and the script, we what is? Can we see what it looks like? Do you yeah. find the Easter Island script, Jamie? If, if you look up the word Rongo Rongo, R O N G O Rongo Rongo tablets. One of the things that's interesting about AI is that they believe that AI is going to be able to determine or decipher rather a bunch of different things that we currently can't. There they are. Oh wow! It bears. That's crazy. It bears some curious. It bears some curious similarities to the Indus Valley script, uh, which has also not been deciphered. And let's hope AI can decipher both of them. Look at that. That's um, and, so strange. And the way, it runs, the way it runs is you read from left to right along the top row. Then you go from right to left along the next row. Then you go from left to right along the next row, and so on and so forth, a sort of snake-like. Mm, how do they pattern. know that? Um, because that's one of the memories that's been preserved by the Easter Islanders and because mm. of the way they all run on. And what do they think it represents? According to Leo, the elder who we talked to in Easter Island, um, it contains memories of the past. It contains memories of the past in Easter Island, instructions on how to navigate, information about the stars, and information about how to live as a community. Wow. But in a language that we, we don't know. We don't no, know what no, it sounds like. Nobody knows it. All we have is an oral tradition, which itself is very fragmented and very faint because of that reduction of Easter Island's population to just 11 people and the fact that the elders who were within historical times able to read these tablets were all wiped out. How did they decipher cuneiform? 